really nice. They have the uh, scavenger hunt, so the kids have a reason to see each and every one of the items they're normally not interested in. So yeah, it gets them interested in it. Here yet, we have the two Hellcats. We have the Hellcat Challenger and the Hellcat Charger, the two red cars, with 707 horsepower. This will be on in 11 seconds. And we also have the Scat Pack over here, which is the blue car, with 485 horsepower. We have the Dodge Charger Challenge going on, which is the simulator. Martin Kinsella from Kamau. Uh, Ida Hill at, from Automation Works and we're, we're working together with Ida to try and uh, promote engineering and manufacturing to a younger generation and attract younger kids into the, into the industry. In the Innovation Centre in Kamau, uh, a couple of months ago, which was very successful, and then from there we've then actually led up to the, this event here at the Kobo. Uh, there's several, several major, major obstacles, uh, but one, and that's linked to this, is in terms of recruitment and talent retention. So recruitment in terms of young engineers into the industry, because at the moment the industry's gone through a phase where engineering and manufacturing wasn't seen as a, uh, let's say, a long-term career due to circumstances coming back from maybe the 80s and the 90s. And now we're trying to work together to attract those younger generations back into engineering to help support the growth. This is giving completely different. I see this as being uh, very fun, very exciting for the kids, very different because they're going to come here this afternoon and they're not knowing what's going to take place. Yeah, uh, There are also, in terms of then learning different skills and different aspects of engineering and manufacturing, and the fact that we're, we're trying to relate real industry to the, the children and also then relate that back to the auto show. I think uh, a number of years ago, sk skilled trades were seen as a, a good career, seen as a good middle class career where uh, you could earn and, and have a career path you know, to, to, to retirement in terms of uh, skilled trades. Today, there's a, there's a perception that skilled trades are not part of the industry, that they're not required, etc. And what we're trying to do is actually change that to say that you know, there are so many different skills required and we're trying to attract the actual the younger generations into those uh, trades because they're not seen as uh, exciting they're not seen as uh, futuristic etc and we're trying to prove that that's not the case and that to get the younger generation back into the industry to prove that they can have a long-term career yeah and they are all part of the the process and not we take kids at various stages of education and it doesn't have to be a degree level educated child. It could, it could be straight from school, it could be straight from community college. Yeah, because there's different trades within the industry that are, require, uh, let's say, filling and recruiting. And uh, it could be anything from an electrician to a tool maker, from a tool maker to a CAD designer, from a CAD designer to an engineer, from an engineer to uh, a layout uh, engineer. 
all different skills that all make up a very important part of the industry. Well done, Oida.